Good morning, everybody. Today is the day that Fearless is published officially. I know I've been talking about it a little bit and it's actually out today. So it's in all bookshops around the UK and Canada. It's out in Australia in October and it's on Amazon. Um, I can't wait for you to read it. And I thought today I would just give you an idea of what's in it so that you can have a sense of if it's for you. So first of all, let's just talk about the physical thing. I'm, I'm at um, HarperCollins HQ who published the book and they've been amazing. And you know, when you have an idea for a book, you need people to come on that journey. And somebody said to me, you should do a book. And I was thinking, I want to put everything in one place. Hello, everybody. And I'd had all comments from many of you over the years of where can I find this information, where can I find that information. So I was always trying to think of where to send you, YouTube, the blog, Instagram, everywhere. And I just actually then thought when somebody said to me, Trini, will you do a book, that I wanted you to have it in one place. So this book is everything I've ever said to you in one place. That's the only way I can describe it. And there's a chunk of it on life. Um, there's a chunk of it on style. And there's a chunk of it on beauty. So. You get the book, and I want you very quickly to take off the wrapper, as it were, because then you have this beautiful inside cover, and this is made of wonderful fabric and, um, and uh, metallic, which is like the epitome, that tactileness. Just these details for me were so important and meant so much to me that we could do them. Now, what's in the book? I'll take you through it. Can I just say, hello, hello, Peter, Susie, Janet, Booth Cockapoo, my darling. I know I was just on Chris Evans' um, Virgin Radio this morning. And oh, my God, can I tell you something? In this life of mine, I have interviews and some interviews go really well and some interviews are shit. But this morning, I had an interview with Chris and he got the book. And from a man like Chris, who I've loved and admired, and he's been, you know, somebody I've watched in my life for years, I was so overwhelmed by his comments on the book and especially on the life section. And he said, I'm reading things I've never read before on life advice. And I, that meant so much to me, so much to me. Um, so if you listen to it, it was a really fun interview. They do a podcast, um, which is on, if you want to catch up with that, you can go on to the um, Virgin, uh, Chris Evans uh, radio podcast. Um, Lee, hello. Hi, John. Teresa, Skin United, Soulful, the Fat Willy Boy. Hello. Um, Sean Murray Dykes, Charlotte, Rebecca. I, I mean, the how you have that in Instagram title is hilarious. Uh, Kelp Perfect, Nick, um, Pilates, Pilates Snow, Pilates Snow, Carolyn, everybody. You're so thrilled, Trini. Have all pre ordered. Um, you're waiting for yours. Congratulations. And it will be in Australia, yes. In Oh, Dogs Trust, Dogs Trust, can I tell you? Digressing for a second, a fabulous Dogs Charity because the dog is for life, not just Christmas is their mantra and they um, never put a dog down um, unless it's ill. Sorry. So that was a digression. Now, let's open the book, shall we, and see what's inside. First thing I think that's very helpful and the thing I'm asked so much about is how can you diagnose yourself so that whatever decisions you make in regards to what you're going to um, wear, etc. you've got the right basis. And for me, that's working out where you sit in a warmth scale from cool to warm. And that's about the combination of your skin, hair and eyes. So there's a diagnosis, I've done this on Trini London, but I had to kind of go backwards and actually um, untangle how we did our algorithm so I could do it in a book. But I just, actually at the very beginning, I talk about my journey and I, I talk about decades and how I felt in each decade. So this really is for anyone in any decade of their life, because I think that there's things that I can retrospectively look back on and think, what did I learn from that? And so I go a little bit, it's not an autobiography, this is just things that I think might be helpful and sharing stories with you I might be helpful. So we start with that just to set the scene. And then we go on to the importance of diagnosing, you know, your identity. So it's an element of your identity. So we go through and, and I just tell you how the book's going to work for you. And we go from your skin type to your face shape. There you go, your face shape. And then we go on to what your skin tone is like. And it's all about warmth and coolness and hair colour here and eye colour. And then I give you your results and where you sit in this scale. And as a result of that, you're going to know if this could be your colour palette or if warm could be your colour palette. And it's an inspiration for you to be inspired by colour. You know how much I love colour. 
And I think it's about how can you be the most present you can be in a room. There's an element to this sense of one's identity about bringing your whole self into a room. And before somebody even has a chance to meet you, how can you portray the woman you are inside, the person you are inside? And I think colour has a lot to do with it. And colour has a psychological impact on us. It's why I love yellow, because yellow is about warmth and joy and sunshine in your life. So colour's important. So we do colours. And then from colours, and you've got your identity, we then show you if you're wearing makeup, what's a colour palette, what should that be like, what are the combinations that you should consider. It gives you just parameters. They're not rules, they're parameters. Then we get on to life. And I just put here, in this part, I want you to feel energised and to learn new things. And I delve into a lot of things. I delve into how to have energy when you're feeling flat, because I think lots of us go through a time when we can feel incredibly flat and uninspired. So I give you things that have helped me to find energy when I felt on the floor. I go into self-worth and self-belief and how can we get it if we've just felt we've lost it a little bit. Um, I talk about imposter syndrome, what I think about us. I think labels can limit us. So I just say, let's take that label off and just think, how can we overcome a lack of that belief in ourself? Um, a big one for me, stopping my, there we go. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you are not your thoughts. Um, because our thoughts can sit there and be like this kind of thing inside our head. So I give you lots of things to help to change that thought inside your head, whether it's the five senses meditation, which we did live today on radio, but just to kind of change your neural pathway for a second. Um, and then in each, at the end of each chapter, I get you to ask yourself some questions and then to challenge yourself on some things. Because I feel it's one thing to read something, and I've done this so often where I've read something and maybe screen grabbed it and I've lost where it is. But this, I, I want you to take a little bit of action. It could be just something to think about or something to actively do. And I think that helps us to move forward because only by action do we move forward. Um, and then I talk about intuition instinct. I talk about standing on quicksand or solid ground and how can we change the ground beneath us, the art of letting go of things, on and on it goes. That's life. It's all sorts of things. I talk about how we can compartmentalize our life um, which is the Eisenhower matrix, um, which I didn't put a credit to that. So can I tell everyone now it is that? And it's just a way to not make your life full of things which you have to do and you haven't done and they become urgent and, and then it overwhelms you. It's like how to not to get a, to a place where you are overwhelmed by the amount of things you have to do. Um, and goals, how to set yourself goals, meditation, the ones for meditation, I've got some meditations in there, there's stuff on exercise, there's stuff on our relationship with sugar, and there's many people that you have met through these lives, and wonderful experts, and I bring some of these experts into the book, and they all have their own books, and hopefully it would inspire you to go and buy their books as well, but from yoga, from the best woman on menopause that I know, Dr. Erica Schwartz, giving us some pages on how to live with hormones, um, in a brilliantly healthy way. And then we have um, Shabir who talks all about the right supplements to take. So I, where I feel I am not the expert, I've got you the experts of people I've learned a lot from. Um, I talk about money and our relationship with money and how challenging that can be. And I went for a while to Debtors Anonymous because I, have, I had real issues around money and learning to understand my relationship with money. Um, so I go into that, keeping up with technology and why you should. Um, so th that's a lot of life there. Then we go into skincare. And I think skincare, we've all had these. Oh, should we do questions for a second? Are there questions? Because I'm here, I'm here with Louise and Dido and there's questions. So let's do those as we go and I can answer the questions. Can people buy the book today? People can buy the book today. It's out today. It's out today. If you're around Waterstones, Sainsbury's, Asda, Waitrose, WH Smith, all those guys, Costco will have the book today and you can buy it. I love to say that. You can buy it today and tomorrow and the next day and let's make it number one for Christmas. <laughs> I, t I do feel that. I, I think I had a really lovely time this morning at HarperCollins and the woman who had the belief in me to do the book, um, Lisa, and she has great, you know, hopes for the book. And she told me this thing as well that um, uh, there was only like one woman in the Christmas top 10 and we wanted to challenge that this year that there's one female writer in the Christmas top 10 so that's our that's our mission if you're on that mission with me and you want to just 
get this into as many women's hands as possible because I think there are things in here that can help people. And that's why I wrote it. I wrote it so that when people are feeling, I'm a bit stuck, how do I feel the fear of doing it anyway? A lo lovely book I read years ago, but also how can you fear less and how can you be more? And that's really the premise of everything in this book. And then we go, we go on to skincare, we go on to just demystifying skincare, demystifying ingredients, demystifying inky lists on the back, knowing what a routine looks like, knowing if you're a lazy girl, what a routine looks like. Um, I go into tips and tricks on makeup and how to wear it and how to um, open up your eyes, how to do a hooded eye, etc. And then we go on to clothing, because you know I'm going to do clothing. And I go on to things that I, I, you all ask me this. Which neckline am I? All right, so according to your face shape and your neck shape, I tell you the necklines that are best for you. That's probably one of the very few places I put a kind of rule in because everything else is, they're all suggestions, but I know from experience of dressing 5,000 women, what will actually be that perfect uh, neck shape for you. I go into the length of a sleeve, <laughs> details like this, which you know nerdily, I'm very, um, into. Uh, I look at how we stand when we're in a photograph um, and a little bit for petite people and tall people. And if you wear glasses and colour, colour, colour and how it brings, you know, joy. There I am starting on the grey page. Tons of things on colour. Colour, 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 colour. Lots of colour. How to wear colour. So you might look at a colour and then you can be inspired. And I go in here and I say, if you're a cool or cool neutral, this is the orange you would wear. And then colors you can wear it with, just that daily inspiration. Dido, questions? Um, my daughter has terrible breakouts. Any advice, good products? So much in here on breakouts. And it will give you a really good routine for if you have breakouts and what to think about. And, you know, there is a section on if you suffer from spots. I had acne from 13 to 30 and I know how for some people they can just brush it off, other people it's very debilitating. So I go through that and discuss all the ingredients that are good to look out for and things you should do and washing your pillow and what shampoo you're using and all these kind of things which we don't always think about with um, having spots. So different conditions, rosacea, I go into that in details on that. I mean, there's, I don't think there's much I don't, <laughs> I don't cover. Uh, it's, it's broad, but it has depth. And that's been, that was the biggest challenge is how can I think of lots of different things? Because not everything will appeal to everyone and some people might want to deep dive into areas. So it will give you the inspiration to think, well, I'd like to know more about that or I'd like to try that. And then you can go on your own journey um, and let that take you to being that fearless woman. Um, is there anything in the book about med meditation? And the med yes, there is. In the, the whole life thing is about, in a way, our mental health, isn't it? Because... If we feel that contentment, that happiness in our, inside ourselves and what brings that to us, meditation is something I started doing about 10 years ago and it has a big impact on my life when I practice it. So I talk, I give you three meditations that Joe Bowlby, who wrote a wonderful book, Book for Life, who we did meditations with, those of you who did them with us um, through lockdown and after, and she really helped me to look at living in the moment and the importance of doing that. I don't do it all the time at all, but I've learned how to do it. I have the ability now to bring it, um, bring it to the table when I need it. So lots of meditation, yes. Um, what color makeup are you wearing? It looks so fresh. I am wearing, I mean, I had a very late night last night because we did the book launch and um, I think I've got on wisdom on my eyes and a little bit of empress in the eye line. And then I've got on my cheeks, wigs, um, flush blush. And then I've got um, schmuggy flush blush on my lip with a bit of myco sheer shimmer. And probably because I've got my ring back, I lost my ring. It, if anyone was in a changing room three months ago on the King's Road in a number of different stores, did you find my ring? Anyway, I got another one and I filled it with so many colors. So I'm never lost. So I have in there, these are my favorite shades. I have um, Wheezy Sheer Shimmer, which has actually become one of my favorite shades. I have Dido. <laughs> Luckily, they're actually in the room here. It's so funny. I have Dido Sheer Shimmer. I have Sasha and I have Maiko and I have, what is that one there? Katie. Um, oh, and Reem as well. So there's lots of them in there. Um, so thank you for all your lovely um, comments. Is there anything, what are your, is there anything about best hair colors? You know, best hair colors are, I've put a little bit about how you work out your hair color. And I think if I ever did a book two, 
because we didn't do that much on her. I'm looking at my editor here across the table. There she is. Look, that that woman. If if she had not been there, I wouldn't have finished the book. Say hello, darling. Hello. That's really. Nice. <laughs> I mean, unbelievable, unbelievable. Anyway, that might be book two, but book one has in it about going grey, the merits of going grey, if you want to or not. Um, and I think when you look at the skin, hair and eye, I always feel that if you have, this is one thing and a way to see if you have the right hair colour, but if you have a very warm skin and eye, but your hair is really cool, maybe you need to question if the majority of your colouring is warm, should you maybe make your hair neutral and not the opposite? That's that's a baseline and conversely the opposite. So if you have a like bright blue shining eye and you have a very cool toned skin, but you have a really warm hair. Um, yeah, it's, it's depends on the depth of your eye color. It depends if you have this dark bit around the outside of your eye, whatever your eye color is, lots of things. So that might be a more detailed book too. Um, so yes, you're now giving me thoughts. Now I'm having thoughts on, on how we're going to hair and because we couldn't, I was thinking, how could I do hair, like, like chapters on it? And actually one could do chapters on hair. But this one is that overall, and then we might see later on um, what we go into more detail about. There's a lot of detail here. Um, yesterday, in case you've just joined us, Fearless has come out. Finally, ready to buy in the shops and it's available to buy in the UK. In Australia, we come out in October and in America, I think we're going to be coming out next year. Dates to be brought to you at some stage. Um, what, one, what one thing would you change today to spark more joy? Oh, that's so difficult because I'm, I personally am feeling quite a joyous place. And if I had a day where I woke up and I thought I want to spark more joy, I'd put on my brightest color because it would spark joy because sometimes we wear colors to reflect back to other people who maybe are feeling flat and then they feel good and then they tell you and then that feeds yourself your bottle of goodness and joy. So I think it's a big circle of helping each other. Um, Madeline, it's your podcast, Stephen Bartlett. Oh, it was, a, I really enjoyed that podcast. It was quite challenging to do. I, when I did it, I did think about um, if Lila was listening and to be aware of, um, to an extent, editing a little bit what I felt, you know, was the most I should say on the subject. But he was a very, very good interviewer and I enjoyed the process. We actually spoke for about three hours and I didn't know what to think because I hadn't met him before. Um, and he was wonderful and um, quite, it was quite cathartic. So yeah, I left there feeling I'd nearly been to a therapy session. Um, Caroline, you've lost three stacks. Oh my God, how do people keep an eye on them? It's getting expensive, Caroline. They're just covetable. They're left out and somebody will swipe them. I don't know. I mean, that's just, I, I, I think I need to have somebody just, the people at um, Arbacons gave me this lovely bag for my phone so I don't lose it. I think we need to have a stack bag. You can just have like, oh, ideas are coming, <laughs> pouring out of this life. But imagine if we had a really great little, chain you choose your chain and the yeah. stack is just there hanging yeah <gasps> cute hey <laughs> i mean interested do we like the idea i mean i know you all want the ring but um i mean and also i went the other day and i had a double ring <laughs> i mean it was literally like i got a, it was my it was my weapon in case i needed one trini i nearly want my i really want my mum to find her confidence again have you got any advice Stephen? buy the book i'm literally it is especially um, dedicated to people maybe in your mum's position who've just felt a little, you know, there's, there can be people who have ultimate confidence and they're going to pick up some things they didn't know. But I'm writing it a lot for women who are thinking, I'm slightly lost. I, need, I just need some inspiration. And I could tell you a few things that you could pass on to your mum, but the best thing you could do is you get to the book and you could even go through the book knowing your mum and just say, mum, that chapter I think is really relevant for you. And I would say that she would read it and have some tools of what she could do to feel better and get more joy back in her life. Um, oh, thank you, Booth Cockaboo. That's very sweet of you to say. Anna, I feel this book looks suitable for anyone who saw Trinion this morning on ITV. She was able to diagnose Dermot really in his colouring best skin colours. Dermot, lovely Dermot. Um, Sarah, rating for your book to arrive today. Wonderful. Um, are there suggestions of books to read, books that have inspired you? I've been inspired by many books. Um, 
and I like novels and I like uh, self-help books. So Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway was a book in the 70s, 80s, and I love that book. And it inspired me then when I was in a very fearful place in the 80s to work through it. Um, I like books by a uh, um, writer called Stefan Zweig, Aware of Pity. I like Wilkie Collins' No Name. It's a book of sort of a woman in the Victorian era fighting for her right for some inheritance. Um, I like The Count of Monte Cristo. I like a book by Dostoevsky is called The Idiot because it's about somebody who everyone thinks is stupid and they're the smartest person in the room and it's so clever on uh, the character of, this character is incredible. Um, so lots of different books. I just read Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, which I kind of liked. I did like, I didn't think I would because it's about gaming, but I like that. You all give me great book suggestions. I mean, we should start a book club, really, shouldn't we? That'd be another thing. But when I ask you in the summer what books to read and you give like hundreds of books, we should just do the sort of, annual holiday book club um, recommendations from the Trini tribe. And I can just, you know, if you all leave them there and I can do a scroll, you know, when I printed out for Madrid this weekend, where to go. And then I had like a thousand suggestions of where to go. And it was so helpful going to a city. Um, and it, it could just be the guides. Guide two, Trini community guide two. That's what it is. Can we just write that down somewhere? Cause I'm feeling that could turn into something. Trini community guide two, thank you. Um, I get my best ideas while I'm chatting to you guys. HQ stories, there we are, the signings, they're going to tell you. Diana, my natural hair colour has changed from auburn to red to brownish with highlights. Should I buy products depending on my natural hair colour or my newest colour, my age is 58? So your natural hair colour has changed from auburn to no red and brownish with highlights. Now, the thing is, you should buy um, products, if you're talking about Trinity London products, for the colour you are. Not the colour you were, but the colour that frames your face here because that will affect. So if, my, if I was incredibly blonde here, I would look at this area as to diagnosing my skin, hair and eye, and I would read my hair color as this bit, not that bit. So if you had very long hair and it was blonde here to here, I would still read what's up here because that's going to affect how colors look on you. And people look at your face from how it's framed by your hair there. Waiting for mine to arrive in, check. Great, I love them going far and wide. Um, I wrote one book, Trini, and it changed me. The whole process was indescribable. Did you get the same way? I did. I think writing a book when you're putting out what's inside your brain and there's, so there's elements to the book that I could write with my eyes closed because I, I know those elements so well. The elements I found more challenging was how much I would say on these subjects that were about life because I didn't want it to be autobiographical. I wanted it to be helpful to other people. And I give examples of myself if it's relevant, but it's just advice I've picked up and then sharing advice I've learned over the years and developed myself. So putting that into words was the biggest challenge for me. Yeah. Um, best color eyeshadow for dark brown almond eyes. Sally P, it depends on your hair color and your skin tone. So I'd say go on to Trini London, do match to me, and then it will show you the best eye shades. In fact, it's one-to-one -one matches now. Um, do you explain how to determine if you're cool or warm? Totally, there's a whole identify yourself at the beginning of the book, and it will take you on this guide as to how to identify yourself. You just follow what to do. It couldn't be simpler. And at the end, you will know, you know, because you get little points at the bottom for each thing. You look and you find yourself. Don't look at the person's age or skin uh, or hair color in this one. Just look at the skin tone and take the point, add the points up, and you will be determined to be cool, cool, neutral, 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 warm or warm. It's really, really helpful. And you've all asked me so often, how do I make that analysis? And in this book, I show you how. And then I apply that to everything we then do in terms of um, clothing and makeup. Pura, if I have warm but pink toned pale skin and hazel brown eyes and neutral tones, I tend to suit burgundy and khaki green. It sounds like you are neutral, hazel, brown eyes, neutral. I don't know your um, hair color. So I kind of say you might be a neutral warm, but I'm not ready. I, I mean, I know somebody's then saying, I'm not ready for gray, I'm going straight on. Um, I'm not ready for gray either. Uh, Debbie, listen to your interview with Steve, such a gorgeous later and thank you very much. Good wash day, hello, good wash day. She has, can I just tell you, the most incredible, you have curly hair. She has these fantastic um, microfiber, uh, towels 
they're not towels, they're microfibers. So whenever I've tried to do my curly hair days, I wash my hair, I wrap it in one of her towels, I release it, and it helps so much to reduce any frizz so that when you're letting your hair dry naturally, it gives you the best natural dry. Um, female entrepreneur doing very well. Um, anyone else? Anyone you would love to do a collaboration with? I was asked last week uh, if I would do one with Terry de Havilland, who does these fantastic shoes I always loved. And I thought to myself, love the idea, but I'm, I'm not an elastic band and I cannot stretch in too many directions right now. And there's a lot going on. So I actually felt I've just got to be like that. Keep in my lane, done the book, doing the podcast, running the business, traveling around a few countries in the next few months. And that elastic band is only going to go so far. Um, you will, M words, you can understand what your skin tone is. I can even see from your tiny little Instagram um, picture that you have got a little red undertone. I don't know if that's tan because I think there's a gentle redness. So you could be rosy red toned skin, but maybe you have a tan as well. So you could be light tan, dark tan or rosy red skin. One of those three I think you would sit in. Um, so that's just from that very small picture. I have to see more of you. To understand it, but you could get it from the book. Um, Caroline ordered, can't wait to arrive. Is it for any age? It is literally if you're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, because it's life and it's not about if you're this age, dress like this. It applies to every age, actually. But I don't think there's anything in the book. I mean, going gray. Some people can go gray at 30. That'd be the one thing which I say might be more age relevant and a book on hormones. But when we talk about hormones, we don't just talk about menopause because hormones affect us on every age. You could have polycystic ovaries in your 20s that has a huge effect on how you feel um, physically and mentally. So yeah, I think it's any age. Um, and also it's about fearlessness. And, you know, I, I remember from my 20s and 30s how much more fear I had. So I don't want people to suffer and cri be crippled by feeling inside fearful. So um, this book, I hope, would help. I hope the book out, comes out in Australia before you come over. We're all waiting for our pre-orders. Now, will it come out before I come to Australia? It comes out the 11th of October. It comes out the 11th of October and I'm in Australia from the 17th, final dates of destinations and which cities coming up soon. So watch this space because we are going to four Australian cities this time and we cannot wait. Um, I think that's it. Oh, thank you very much for that. I think we got that last time. Brilliant. Maybe put air tags on them. Air tags on what? What was I losing? Yes. Can I just say, I mean, that is inspired because an air tag would fit on the bottom. I'm going to show you how that would work. I think that's so clever. Okay. Somebody got a pot here. I got one here. Okay, so that's an AirTag. Those of you who don't know what they are, it's the best thing. Apple make these and they actually, I have them on my dog. I have them on my uh, wallet. I have them on my suitcases. So when you travel and it goes in the hold and you're thinking, will it ever come back to me? You can track it. The only thing, the first time I used it, and I think I was going to Australia or something. I don't know, I was going quite far, lots of my really precious things in the suitcase. And I landed and I looked at it and it said, your suitcases." 9,000 miles away. And I thought, no, but it hadn't, up, it hadn't updated. Oh my God, the relief. But anyway, that does fit in the bottom of a stack. So the lady at the beginning who was losing her stacks, put that in the bottom, you always, genius idea. Thank you. You're all so clever. Um, thank you very much, Sophie. It was tough, but it was cathartic too. Love a stack bag and chain. Don't we love a stack bag? Excited, my book is one stop away. Let's look at Ness's book, One Stop Away. Is it on Amazon, Ness? Okay, let us know. Redette, how are you, my darling? Amalia, hello from Greece. Nisha, hello, my love. How are you feeling this morning? Alexia, yes, a stack chain bag. What, please do it. Okay, stack chain bag. We've got to think about that one. Wearing the new BFF Rebalance for the first time today, and I love it. I'm also waiting on the Amazon man for your book on the Amazon man. May he come to you soon. Please, can you all, please, 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 Leave reviews on wherever you bought it. Leave reviews on Amazon, leave reviews wherever you can leave reviews because it means so much to me um, that you would do that. Thank you very much. Um, Pura, I wish I could get it right now, but I have to wait for my birthday in October. All right, done. Is the book in Canada? When? Next year. The book is in Canada next year. Hello, everybody. Um, oh, thank you. I've enjoyed doing the podcast. It's, it's challenging always getting people and, and juggling it. And, um, and I'm really, it's a big team effort to do this podcast. And 
Uh, I'm, it's doing really well. We've been, we had 100,000 downloads mm -hmm. in the first six episodes. Oh no, the first four episodes yeah. actually we measured on that. So that was us, we thought we'd get 60,000 downloads, so we're very excited. Um, Trini, what pop of color would you accessorize the outfit you're wearing with? I would probably do, because it's cool tone, so I might do, I could do a cool red, but with silver, I tend to do, well, I don't know, I could, I don't know how often I do a bright red lip with this. I would think my pop of color would be Swainy if I did a, a thing, or Pookie, actually. I might do Pookie. What perfume am I wearing? Brandon. I'm wearing Aqua Fiora from Florence, this beautiful, um, uh, fragrance shop in Florence, really worth a visit. It's like Santa Maria Novella, which is the other iconic fragrance shop in Florence. And uh, I'm wearing one which has in it Neroli because it's very uplifting. Um, thank you. These are by, I always forget his name, and he is called Ryan Sim Simkin. Yeah, um, Louise is looking down, but I think that's right. More closet confessions. I do them when I can, and I know that we've, um, you know, we tried to do them. I know it's tricky when you watch them, of watching them on YouTube, but to be honest, Instagram always, it always buffered, so we had to put them on YouTube when we do a, a little, um, a little promo on Instagram. But once you go onto YouTube, you want to watch them without any problems. You follow the three little dots and you change the settings instead of being a sort of settings where your bandwidth is little. Read the chapter on technology if you want to understand this more. It allows for more bandwidth, which allows for better quality film. It's so easy to change it, so easy. And then you watch it beautifully. Um, I've got to now go to my next appointment and I just want to thank you all for um, honing in, uh, for, for, for um, joining, joining um, <laughs> dialing in. Uh, and the book is out today, Fearless, Fearless, Be More. So excited for you to read it. Bye.